What's going on guys? Jake, the MMA dad. Hey, as always, shout out to our Creek Squad. Shout out to the Hangover Gang. Shout out to the Nightwish Army. And as always, shout out to our first responders, our active military, and our veterans. We love you guys. So guys, uh, with our continued journey down the discography of Sabaton, I was informed that Night Witches is one of the songs that people wanted to see. And I was also informed that they had just released, and it shows that it released four days ago, an animated story video to go with Night Witches. Now, some people were filling me in on the background to this song that it had to do with female pilots who were uh, flying bombers and they would actually kill their engines as they were coming up on their targets so they would come in silently and uh, I'm excited about it man that that sounds like an amazing um, story and the fact that they're giving us a, an animated story video to it is going to be I don't know fantastic in my opinion so Sabaton's amazing I've every video I've seen from them so far has just I mean, it's been awesome, and uh, the band is is absolutely incredible. So I'm excited to get into this one. Let's put these headphones on so that I don't miss anything going on in the layers of music that they give us. And we're gonna get into this, man. I'm excited for this one. I was excited to get into this song after I heard the story. Then when they said, hey, they released an animated story video, I was even more excited because now I get the, the visuals of it too. I'm a visual learner, so. Anyway, enough rambling for me. Sabaton, Night Witches, the animated story video just recently dropped. Let's get into it right now and boom. The Germans are resting behind the lines of the Eastern Front. Okay. Their tents in neat rows. All is in order in the quiet and still of the night. It's cold and the winter snow crunches under the jackboot of a guard. Looking up into the sky, the snow starts to drift down. It's peaceful here. Was that a noise from the sky? No, it's just the wind. Suddenly, piercing the still of the night, there's an otherworldly scream and a whoosh as a dark form speeds by. And was that a woman's laughter in the distance? There are no engine sounds and the suddenly fearful German soldier loses his footing and whispers under his breath, Die Nachthexen. The world is all at once a bloom of fire and ash, and two more dark forms pass without a sound. Hearing the whooping and celebration of these supernatural creatures, the guard shakes himself from his fear and calls out, Die Nachthexen! Die Nachthexen! The Night Witches! In the sky, above, three planes of the soon-to-be-famous 588th Night Bomber Regiment, their engines now running, turn east for home. Time to rearm and refuel for another mission. Coming into land, they're greeted by their commissar, Yevdokia Rashkevich. The young girls that form the pilots and navigators are between the ages of 17 and 26. They are desperate to take the fight to the Germans and have traveled from all over Russia to join the all-women regiments. The 588th is where the least skilled of all the women are placed, but that didn't stop them from carving their name in history. In the early days, they were largely ridiculed by the Soviet men. Given men's uniforms that were too big and shoes all of the same size, the women did the best they could with the clothes, making them fit with belts or filling the large men's shoes with stuffing. The equipment they were given was woefully out of date. The Polykarpov PO2 was a two-man trainer, underpowered and made of cloth and wood. These old string bags were nicknamed crop dusters, or even worse, sewing machines due to the noise their tiny engines made. But the women of the 588 ignored the taunts, and despite the odds, turned the plane's shortcomings to their advantage. The planes at maximum speeds were far below the stall speeds of any of the German fighters. Giving them a tight turning circle, they were almost impossible to hit. They were susceptible to small arms fire and anti-aircraft guns. So their strategy was to attack in freeze with a navigator in each plane. At her signal, the pilot would cut the engines and swoop in slowly, silently, dropping their bombs, dealing death from above. Unexpected, undetected, stealth perfected. 
If necessary, the other two would draw fire from the fighters or from the ground. They slept during the day and rose at dusk to take their vengeance on the invaders. This unnatural bravery and their stealth tactics earned them their title, the Night Witches. The German ace, Johanna. Shouts out to them. So, man, it's giving me goosebumps. <laughs> I love stories like this. I love stories where the underdog story, right? It's like everything that they had to go through, the, the ridicule, the not being supported, everything else, but the, I still got goosebumps, the, the way that they embraced that and the love that they had for serving their country to deal with all of that and, and be able to, to basically say, you know what, you're not going to deter us. We're going to do our part and we're going to do it to the utmost skill that we can with what we're given. How do you not love a story like that? It's like, it's like, uh, you know, it's up there with like ultimate underdog stories. Like, let's give them the worst equipment. We're going to, you know, make fun of them. We're going to ridicule them. And they're still going to make history. Mm. Shouts out to all those women. That is that is amazing, and this story so far is absolutely incredible. I'm gonna back it up just a little bit. Dusk to take their vengeance on the invaders. This unnatural bravery and their stealth tactics earned them their title, the Night Witches. The German ace, Johannes Steinhoff said, we simply couldn't grasp that the Soviet airmen that caused us the greatest trouble were in fact women. These women feared nothing. Shouts out to y'all, that's awesome.
32. Think about, first of all, the freaking music. Oh man, that guitar was blowing me away. Boy, Sabaton, Sab okay, Sabaton, in my opinion, does a phenomenal job in doing all of these stories and, and all the people involved in them justice because they're they're presenting it in such an amazing way and it, it gets you it gets you excited about history and and that's something that um I, I don't know about the rest of the world because I, I haven't I haven't been out of the United States but in the United States a love of history is is really lacking here in the US and having amazing music telling amazing stories it's such a great way to get people interested in history again and and um and I love it and and again so much respect to all of these women because to go into a war like this knowing that you're going in with inferior equipment takes so much courage so much courage and that scene the, the animation is amazing and the and the scene where she pulled out her handgun and just started shooting at him. And then she ran out of ammo, so she just throws it at him. That just shows the the tenacity and, and the will to win that these women had. And it's been giving me goosebumps throughout the whole, throughout the whole thing. It's, uh, man, this is phenomenal. This, this is amazing. Okay, I'm gonna back it up because she was getting into telling a little bit more of the story. So I wanna back it up just a little bit. I like that. Still got the vocals in the background. 32 women, both pilots and navigators, never came home. The 588th became highly decorated and respected, flying more than 23,000 sorties, dropping over 3,000 tons of bombs. 23 night witches were awarded the Hero of the Soviet Union, although they were disbanded just six months after the war and not allowed to fly in the victory parade oh, given their planes were so slow. From 1956, after she retired from active service, their commissar Yevdokia Rajkevich took it upon herself to find the site of every single one of her girls that was downed, to mark the place and to pay her respects to each one of the incredibly brave night still got, witches. Oh, still got goosebumps. Man, what a phenomenal story. What a phenomenal story and what a phenomenal way to tell that story um, by Sabaton. Wow, okay. I don't know how many times I got goosebumps um, throughout, that, throughout that video, but whew, I love it, man. I, I, it's amazing stories like this that make me not understand why people don't love history more like um like i'm big into my heritage because i want to know where i came from and and i love history because it's teaching you where so many things that we have today that we don't you know that some people don't even think twice about like how did we get there where did it come from um history is amazing to me I, I love learning about history sorry guys i had an issue with my camera i had to adjust it so i'll just kind of cut it up Anyway, what I was saying was history is amazing to me. Sabaton does such a phenomenal job of making history fun. And I think that if stuff like this, excuse me, was shown, I think that if stuff like this was shown more in like school and more in, in Americans got exposed to this more, I think more people would become interested in history because their storytelling is absolutely amazing. And I can't say enough great things about Sabaton. And, um, but I, I wanna give a big shout out to Sab Sabaton because it's great, but more importantly, I wanna give a huge shout out to the 588th Night Bomber Regiment and all of their um, ancestors. I mean, that's that's, bravery courage everything like shown at the highest level and um man 
thank you guys so much for um, for recommending this video to me. Like I said, I had goosebumps throughout like the whole the whole video, the whole story, um, and I can't wait to get to more uh, music by Sabaton and hear more amazing stories from 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 history. It, it's amazing. Um, thank you guys again so much. And again, shouts out to the 588th. My, you, you guys have my respect, utmost respect. Thank you guys so much. I'll see you on the next video.